Look up at the sky. See that airplane cruising at 35,000 feet? Ever wondered, who builds these colossal machines? The answer might surprise you. It's a mix of towering giants, rising challengers, and a network of unsung heroes. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of aircraft manufacturing. Let's uncover the mystery of who builds aircrafts, how these mechanical marvels come to life and what it takes to rule the skies. When we talk about the big players in aircraft manufacturing, two names instantly stand out, Boeing and Airbus. These titans dominate the world of commercial aviation. But what makes them so special? Boeing, based in the US, has been a leader for over a century. Their planes, like the 737, 777, and the iconic 747, have carried billions of passengers. Airbus, their European rival, took to the skies in the 1970s. They're famous for innovations like the A380, the largest passenger plane in the world. But here's a question for you, why do airlines pick one over the other? The answer? It's a mix of fuel efficiency, capacity, and cost. For example, narrow body jets like the 737 and A320 are perfect for short routes, while wide body jets like the 777 and A350 excel on long-haul flights. So, every choice an airline makes boils down to maximizing profit while ensuring passenger comfort. And speaking of comfort, did you know that Airbus and Boeing collaborate with airlines to design cabin layouts? Yep. From wider seats to better legroom, it's all about creating the perfect flying experience. Well, as perfect as economy class can get. Now, Boeing and Airbus may dominate, but they're not the only ones building planes. Meet the challengers. Companies like Comac from China, Mitsubishi from Japan, and UAC from Russia. They're working hard to carve out their piece of the sky. Let's start with Comac. Their flagship plane, the C919, is China's answer to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. The goal? To reduce dependence on Western manufacturers and compete globally. But here's the catch. Breaking into this market is tough. Airlines need planes they can trust, and that trust takes years to build. Comac knows this. That's why they're subjecting the C919 to rigorous tests, proving it's ready for the big leagues. And let's not forget Embraer from Brazil. They specialize in regional jets, smaller planes designed for short trips. Fun fact, their jets are often called the workhorses of regional aviation, connecting smaller cities to major hubs. Think about it, when you're flying between smaller towns, there's a good chance you're on an Embraer. Now, here's something you might not know. Boeing and Airbus don't build everything themselves. They rely on a network of suppliers to create the parts that make planes fly. Take engines, for example. Giants like Rolls-Royce, GE, and Pratt & Whitney supply the power plants that keep planes in the air. And guess what? These engines are some of the most complex machines ever built. Did you know that a jet engine can contain over 25,000 individual parts? Each one is meticulously designed to withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. Talk about precision. And then there's avionics, the brains of the aircraft. Companies like Honeywell and Collins Aerospace design the systems that pilots rely on. From navigation to autopilot, these systems are what make modern flying so safe. Even the interiors, those seats, overhead bins, and in-flight entertainment systems, are crafted by specialized firms. It's a global effort, with hundreds of companies working together to create one airplane. Now here's a question, how do we know these planes are safe to fly? The answer lies in certification. Every new aircraft goes through a grueling process led by aviation authorities like the FAA in the US or ESA in Europe. These tests cover everything, from structural integrity to engine performance. Planes are flown in extreme weather conditions, pushed to their limits, and even crash tested. Don't worry, no passengers involved. And it's not just machines being tested. Pilots also undergo rigorous training to ensure they can handle anything that comes their way. So, why does all this matter? Because aircraft manufacturing isn't just about building machines. It's about connecting people, bridging continents, cultures, and communities. Every plane represents years of collaboration, innovation, and trust. And next time you're on a flight, remember this. The aircraft you're sitting in is the result of thousands of hours of work, involving people from all over the globe. Now, isn't that something to marvel at? Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of aircraft manufacturing. If you learned something new, or just enjoyed geeking out about planes, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories about the wonders of our world. 
Until next time, keep your head in the clouds and your feet on the ground.